Hi guys, and here I am with a new video that we talk about NeoPixel LEDs. What you see in my hands is a NeoPixel LED matrix made up of 256 LEDs. In a previous video, we saw how to build a LED matrix made up of 9 of these 16 per 16 matrices for a total composition of 2304 pixels. And we also saw how to connect this matrix to an ESP32 and the WLED app creating incredible beautiful visual effects. And today we see how to use this large matrix to display beautiful graphic sprites and colorful icons. But not only this, we will see how to obtain this amazing graphic animation that you can see well here. Don't, don't you see well? Hmm, okay, follow the video and I swear you will see this splendid animation very well and in focus. I think it will be worth seeing the video till the end. And to conclude this quick introduction, do you see this? In the video I will explain what is this and how it can incredibly improve the viewing quality of an LED matrix. In the description you will find all the links for the STL file for 3D printing and the Arduino source file for programming the SP32. And don't forget to let me know in the comments what you're thinking about. And as usual I remind you to subscribe to the channel and leave a like because I have wonderful ideas for future videos. And so let's get started! In a previous video, exactly the one you can see in the linking above, you can see how I built a 48 by 48 pixel matrix starting from scratch. You will see all the electrical connection to make and how to solder the wires to the matrix. Furthermore, you will also see how I connect the matrix to the WLED application to create beautiful graphics effect. If you look carefully, even if the effects are very beautiful to look at, the colors and definition are very pointy and the light disperses in a bad way. I therefore try to create a grid of square pixels that could better isolate the light of each individual LED isolating it from the nearby LED and create a better effect. In the description you will find the STL file of the grid I created and printed. I had to print many times to find the right A from the white layer and the grid, so that the light was diffused evenly and at the end the result was this. As I soon as I place the grid with a white layer that diffuses the light, look at the beautiful homogeneity effect that results. All pixels are now close and uniform, and the effect of the color intensity and definition are also significantly improved. It's really all different and much much nicer to look at.
PCB Ways offer the best custom PCB prototyping service, but they also offer injection molding, 3D printing laser, and CNC cutting with their instant quote feature. You can simply upload your model and choose from SLA, FDM, and SLM, which is a laser mounting a metal powder to make metal parts. They also have an instant quote feature for their custom PCB. So go ahead and try it right now at the PCBWay.com. Let's take a JPEG image like this for example. The dimensions are 580 per 386 and cannot be displayed on a 48 per 48 matrix display. So first we have to replace the white background with a black one because the white on the matrix would appear as all the LEDs are turned on and instead we want the background not to have LEDs lit but turn it off. Now we reduce the height to 48 pixel and then we enlarge the canvas to 48 pixel without changing the proportion of the image. We need to improve the quality of the image by better defining the edge with clearer and less blurred colors. We save the image in GIF and load the program for conversion to hexadecimal. Now we have to load the file with a text editor and use the part you see and then paste it into the Arduino source. 